And there's a lot of senior business leaders uh, listening to this podcast. So what, what do you think they can do to really start this process, engage the marketing and sales leaders and, uh, you know, set the foundation for that culture? You said it's not done uh, by sending out an announcement, uh, you know, to, <laughs> from yeah. tomorrow onwards, we're aligned. Well, what do you what do you need to do to uh, to really make it happen? Well, I think executive alignment is super important. You know, if you are a you know business leader, um, you know, making it really clear to your organization, this is a non-negotiable, like this has to happen. Uh, we need to have sort of lockstep alignment between the two teams, but give those teams some oxygen and some grace, like know that there are a lot of benchmarks and a lot of sort of pre-existing success stories they can lean on to sort of structure the way that should look, but know that they're probably not going to nail it right out of the gate. And I think a lot of times when we see sales and marketing alignment programs initiate, but then fail, it's because those teams expected it to be perfect from the, from the beginning. And when a couple programs didn't work or a couple mistakes were made, it's just like, see, see, they're just like always, it's just not working. And we'll go back to what we understood. <laughs> and I think you have to like lean into those. I mean, you know, the, the path to success is paved with failure. Know that things are going to break as part of this, just like with any campaign, but stick with it because the end goal is worth it. We have a model um, that we developed from some benchmark data from demand metric that looks at, it's a direct correlation between the degree to which sales and marketing systems are aligned and the percent of revenue goals that are achieved across organizations. And it's, it's a direct correlation. But what's mm -hmm. most interesting about that data is not the fact that there's a direct correlation. It's the data points they used. And so they don't go from like no integration to minimal integration to moderate to advanced. They go from no integration to ineffective integration to minimal to moderate to advanced. It's still mm. an up and to the right directly from every data point. So what that tells me, if you go from not having integration to at least trying and failing, you are still increasing your number. You're still driving greater sales and revenue performance. So it is a journey, but it is worth it from the very early stages.